the Bible states that for the Gentiles that admit the truth and know the truth, that they shall be set free and get the same portion of blessing as Jacob. I am an E1B1 M91 chromosome, tribe of Judah and Asher. Maybe if it's not heard from me, and I don't say these things to brag and boast, but only for the truth. Welcome to Seven Tribes Prayer, and to this very important and very special video that I'm doing covering who the true biblical Hebrews are. I first off want to say, as if the warning at the beginning of the video wasn't enough, I want to make sure to reiterate this, that I'm not a racist person, uh, nor am I a person that hates certain individuals. I love all of humanity. I want to see all of humanity making a new kingdom. But nevertheless, there is true Hebrews, there is a true people of the Most High that is scattered throughout the nations of the earth this day. It is not whom that many people believe they are, such as the so-called Jews in the nation-state of Israel that we so see before us right now. I would interject that the true biblical Hebrews are the so-called African-American people that are scattered abroad throughout the world. Now, I will show you through a mass amount of evidence that I'll put up on the screen right here, verses below, and you can do your due diligence and research these things out to see if they be so. It is very important that you understand who the true Hebrews are because that end time prophecy, lots of it, surround these individuals. I am a Gentile. I know exactly who I am, but it seems to be the one group of people in the world that have been, by the rest of the world, tried to be dumbed down to the fact or completely erased their history uh, from history is the African American people, so called, that are scattered throughout the nations. Now, please understand that not every single black person is a true Hebrew, but it is those that are under the curse of Deuteronomy 28. And you'll be able to tell by the time that I'm done giving you this information in this video who the true Hebrews are, and you may be one of them. So let's begin. In the early pictures that you would see depicted in um, worship places, churches, and things of this nature, as you can see right here in this image right here, and others that I'll continue to put up, that Messiah was depicted as a black person, you know, an African-American person. And this is totally different to what we see as Roman Catholicism was further introduced and spread abroad throughout the world. Um, we always see a white Caucasian Messiah being depicted. And I want to reiterate throughout this that I'm not being racist. I love every single person in humanity. It's very important we know who the true Hebrews are. And anyway, as time progressed, though, these paintings and the depictions went from the black African-American um, features to a more Caucasian white feature. And this wasn't done overnight. This was a slow sifting process as to what we have today. Now in every church house and on their walls, we see a white Messiah. And this is, could, could not be further from the truth. Now, I'll put links in the bottom of the video description where you can go see a lot of these. Um, abroad on the internet and I encourage you to research Google because there's so many um, remaining artifacts of this from centuries before. Uh, as we move forward there is after Noah come off the ark and the sons Shem, Ham, and Jacob, the sons of Ham is a guidepost that we can use to help us find the true Hebrews because the sons of Ham the true Hebrew Israelites always blended with the sons of Ham. And I'll give you many examples of this. As we read in Genesis 10, it gives the genealogy. And so we can see um, the beginning of the division of people. But the Egyptians come from their father Ham. In Palestine, if you look at some of the people that are descendants from long ago, they're black. Although we have other people of ethnic background moved into Palestine today, the people that intermingled with the true Hebrews, the Palestinians, uh, many of them are black. And they, that is from generations back. Uh, not only this, but the scripture states that in Amos 9 and 7 that the Hebrews are like the Ethiopian to him. Uh, if we look in Ethiopia, I find that most people have no problem understanding that the people there are of black African nature. Now, the uh, sons of Ham, though, as we find in the scripture, we can see that Joseph blended 
with the sons of Ham because whenever his other brothers came to uh, receive goods and merchandise to take back to help their family, they did not know that it was him. Now this could have all went down if he was another ethnic background, whatever color that may be, to blend with the black African American Egyptian at that time. I'm sorry, they're not American at all, but the black African Egyptian. Okay, so Moses, and, and make sure to read the scripture as well, Moses blended with the sons of Ham, the Egyptians, because that they passed as their own people. We can find this recorded in the scripture. In Acts chapter 21, we find Shaul, um, Paul, passed as a uh, Egyptian and was asked this because he spoke Greek. At the, you know, if a man spoke Greek and he was Caucasian color as me, the <coughs> soldier may have just thought, hey, he's a Greek. But he had to ask him because the ethnic code. Yahushua fled into Egypt. Well, his mother and father took him into the land of Egypt uh, whenever Herod sought his life. This, therefore, uh, these people were able to blend and, you know, look the same. This is so important to understand because uh, not only is it found in Scripture, but even secular examples such as this right here, National Geographic, showed the black pharaohs of Egypt. See, before the Arab people came in and took over what is modern day Egypt now as an ethnicity, um, the people that was there beforehand were of African black characteristic. This is so important to understand because when history is erased by the following generations, that is what is history. Unless you do your due diligence and go back and search these things out. Moving things forward, so. in modern Egypt, we find that the Egyptian premier Nasser spoke to the Israeli people at that time whenever they were returning to their said nation, and it was supposed to be the true Israelites. He said, you left black, you came back white, we cannot accept you. And you can see a quote put up here, right here, on the quote up. Now that's not me, and once again, I'm not trying to be racist, uh, anti-Semitic, or whatever you want to label it. This is other people's statements. This is historical fact evidence. Historical Hitler. facts. I cannot think of a more murderous, sadistic, evil human being than Hitler. Nevertheless, Hitler provides us some very interesting uh, evidence that he knew as well who the true Hebrews were. Mm, that they hid in a from film society. documentary that he showed to his generals that is documented in Time Life magazine, as you can check out for yourself. And also, there's video links in the video description below to uh, other evidence of this where you can see the hard copy of the book being spoke of in the video. Now that doesn't mean that I endorse everything in those videos and other people's thoughts. I'm just showing you that this book does exist nevertheless. In Time Life magazine, the uh, it was labeled, I believe the book was labeled the Nazis uh, from every time that I've ever seen it. I've only seen the book a couple times in my life so far um, and I want to get a copy of it because it's so powerful. But nevertheless, Hitler shows to his generals who the true Hebrews are and who the posers are. Who the true Hebrews? He describes to his generals that the who? Who white face kind of, you know, I, people always say that I kind of look Jewish. Um, that, that's actually a fair statement because my background is Germanic, Russian. I have, you know, that is my ancestry. Same well, thing we'll I've been teaching. later in this video is described to you that the Ashkenazi Jews uh, are from that region in the world. I'm not a Jew. I'm not an Israelite. I'm a Gentile that has accepted Messiah in my heart, Yahushua, to keep his commands, do his Torah and his Father's commands, and trust in him so that I may have eternal salvation. Now, Hitler explained the white person that was posing to be a Israelite as the bastard. And please forgive me, I mean not to be profane, I am describing exactly what was shown in the film. Mm. It also showed a African man of nature and facial feature hair texture as the true Hebrew. And it broke this down and digressed very deep. It went extremely deep. It was profound to me how much emphasis he put on explaining to his generals who the true Hebrew were. It was mm. shocking. But they hid that I from society. You to look into that. Yes, you if do. Hitler, a psychopathic murderer, that I totally um, acknowledge that uh, genocide was taking place and that 
Hitler tried to kill many people, um, especially Auschwitz, is a terrible atrocity upon humanity.